Hello everybody, what's up? I hope you guys are doing great. Recently, I've come across this one very important doubt which I guess each one of you is facing right now which is what should you do? Boards versus Christ University entrance test, your college entrance exam. Should you focus on your boards or should you focus on your college entrance test? So don't worry guys, just watch this video till the very end and I will structurally formalize it for you of how you should go about both the things. But before that, thank you so much for the response on the interview preparation 101 and the personal guidance and doubt clearing sessions. It's just amazing to see how you all people have responded and booked up your sessions. And for all those people whom I've taken the mock interviews and the personal guidance and doubt clearing sessions, it just feels so great that you guys are putting in so much effort to get into your dream university that you're so focused on getting the career that you want in your life. It just makes me more motivated to do what I do and make keep making these videos and hosting these mocks and personal guidance sessions with you. The idea for this video also came from the personal guidance and doubt clearing sessions with a lot of students who all had the same doubt which is should you focus on your board exams or your college entrance test? So the rule number one to this is do not focus on one thing only. See guys, I know for your Christ University entrance test, your board results do not matter at all. Like I can go on and advise you that forget about your boards and just study about your college entrance test. Focus on your CUET preparations, your interviews, your micro presentations and you will be good for life. But that will be incorrect of me to do that. The reality of the matter is boards matter. Even if it is not for Christ University, board results matter for your whole life. Even if you're sitting for your placements or if you're, you know, appearing for your masters or if you're doing anything in life, people are going to be asking about your marks at boards, board examinations, how well you've scored in your boards. So guys, do not for a second neglect your board exams. Likewise, do not just completely focus on your boards and forget about the Christ University entrance test or your any college entrance exam for that matter, thinking that boards are going to be the savior. No guys, a lot of universities have moved on from your board results being the sole criteria for selection to all the entrance exam that all the universities, especially the private universities are hosting. So you got to be smart and you should not focus on one thing only. Now the times have passed wherein you know you would just be given one thing to do and you all you have to do is just do on that do that one thing and clear it off now that you guys have grown up you would start understanding usually this used to happen with us in college time but for you people it has come a little earlier than college now is the time when you guys should actually start multitasking and start juggling things and you know handling all the things well in your hand here you have to focus on your board exams and your entrance test together and you have to do well in both of them. The rule number two is set a routine. See guys, if you set a routine well, I'm pretty sure you will be able to ace both the things together. All you have to do is just you need to divide your time well that you know from 5 a.m. in the morning till like 8 a.m. you will be studying for your boards which is you will be doing either accounts, maths, psychology or whatever subjects that you have and then probably after lunch is when you will be studying for your Christ University entrance test be it your quants, logical reasoning, current affairs or you know late in the evening is when you will be preparing for your interviews and micro presentations or any routine for that matter. The most important thing is that you should be knowing what you have to do in the particular time. Do not procrastinate and do not waste your time. I've seen a lot of people, they are just stressing over the fact that, oh my God, what am I going to do? Should I focus on board? Should I focus on college entrance test? And just obsessing over it, you guys are wasting so much of your time. Rather than that, just make up a routine. Whatever time you want to get up in the morning, whatever time you want to sleep, if you are an early riser, then you wake up early. If you are a late sleeper, then you stretch the night hours, burn the midnight oil and work during the night time. Whatever you are comfortable with, that is your personal lifestyle and your scenario. All that I'm wanting is that do not waste any time. You know, if you have decided one hour is for lunch, just focus on that one hour. Leave all the distractions behind. I'm pretty sure boards and entrance tests, they both can go hand in hand. All you have to do is not waste your time at all. Another great advantage of setting a routine is that you would not get bored out of it. During my time when we had to study only for boards, it used to become just so boring because from early in the morning till late in the night, all you're doing is just studying for your board exams. 
but now that you have the advantage you should just mix it up you know study study for some subjects in the morning and then take up you know quants and logical reasoning in the afternoon or just something or the other so that you don't get bored out of it if you're getting bored out of studying for you know accounts then you can move up and you can start solving logical reasoning questions and then if you're getting bored out of that just take up current affairs or just take up english or any of the subject for that matter it's just to keep you busy to get your schedule rolling to get your time running faster and at the same time focusing on the things that matter rule number 3 is guys understand your weakness and prioritize it see guys it's very important that you should know what are your weak areas and then you should start focusing on those if you're already good at accounts and if you're studying 10 15 more hours at accounts it is not going to help you rather than that it is better if you take up quants or if you take up current affairs which you're weak at and then focus more on that all these things have to go hand in hand so it's more important that you should understand your weakness and give more time to that rather than giving more time to your strength because if it is already your strength you will be able to do well at it rather than that cover up your weaknesses and try bring it up at your same levels as, as your strengths lastly during the last days guys please please focus on your cuets and interview practice only for all the people who were asking me whether boards and cuet will go together no guys it would not go together like you would know christ university has already shifted its date to before than your board so that you have another month or so to prepare for your boards but the sad thing is that yes it might clash with your practicals of board exams but i think they're still doable during the last days especially the month of march is when you should be focusing more on cuet and interview practice because your interviews are going to be within 10 to 20 days and it is super important that you focus on these two things later on after this is done you can give all your time and effort to your board preparations because both of them matter but yes you got to you got to be smart in understanding your timeline and your calendar and focusing on the things that are ahead in the schedule for all the christ university entrance test details i've made a lot of videos especially the ultimate guide to cuet i've mentioned all the important books that you should be buying or you should have them so that you can prepare for your christ university entrance test in the best possible manner for interviews i've told you your only strategy to go about it is mocks you should take as many mocks as you can I will be putting down the link in the description below about the mocks that you can schedule with me. All you have to do is just go pay and then we will schedule a mock together and I will help you analyze your weakness so that you can do your interviews very very confidently and I'll make sure that you try getting an admission in the college that you want. So yes, that's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you have any doubts, questions or queries. Likewise share this video with your friends and everybody whom you think it is going to be beneficial and last but not the least please please guys subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you guys get regular notifications of whenever I'm uploading another video and at the same time I get motivated to make more videos for you all take care bye bye